Yes, people, welcome back to Sunday League. Today we have a Kent Cup semi-final. If you guys were watching last year, you'll remember this is pretty much the same stage that we went out last year. Today, we want to correct that. Standing in our way is Real Gima FC. No previous history, this is the first time these two teams will face up against each other. And I'm sure it's gonna be a good one. Today, the lineup is as followed. We've got George in goal. We've got Marcel right back. Tolu and Reggie at centre back. Brad at left back. Eric and Malachi starting in the middle. Just ahead of them is Joseph. Over on the right is Sam. On the left is the informed junior. And starting through the middle is Thomas. On the bench is Benny, Eman, Eri, Fred, and yours truly returning from a hamstring injury. Afternoon, boys. Afternoon. Afternoon. How are we feeling today, boys? Not too bad. How are you going to win? I'm, I'm, I'm amazing, you know. I'm actually good. Today is another day to show how good you two are. And going off that warm up, again, same as last week. A group set a standard and we were able to reach it at the end. What I need and what I need now is eleven players to start that standard and five players off the bench to continue it throughout. It's a semi-final, it's another occasion to put our name on the map and make sure people know to respect us because every single time I see our name online, people are dragging it through the dirt. But we know what we're capable of, we know what we can do individually. Like I think one of the best things you can do in football, one of the things I've learned is Focus on what you're good at and make sure you thrive in that before anything else. So if you're good at beating your player, take that player on. But the main thing is we fight, we battle, we know what kind of game this is going to be already. Let's play to our strengths and make sure that when we are in the final third, we have that killer instinct about us. But also that sort of pride and arrogance to want to be better and be the best on the pitch or be the best against the man in front of you. I'm not going to sound like a broken record, but what I am going to say is we must enjoy this game. We must be ruthless and we must do the business today. It's as simple as that. 90 minutes plus potentially 30 and pens to a cup final. How much do you don't want it? Because I know how much I want it. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Okay, okay, real Gima in the white, red and black. It's a pretty neat kit, I have to say. We don't really have any sort of intel on them. Uh, one of the players did play against us at Ball Talks, that Jake, the number 15, he's a very tricky player, very direct. And I'm sure he's gonna be a problem. However, when I say that, I do believe we're equipped to deal with any problem to come across us in Sunday League. So whether we do that or not, it's down to us. Let's get ready. Kent Cup semi-final, here we go. Referee's whistle is gone. Thomas plays it back to Joseph, who spins on it, gets away from one and is clattered by the other. What a start to the game. Ball comes over the halfway line to the player I was talking about, Jake, plays it through uh, on the left to the number nine who's burp. bursting down this left hand side. He's got players in the box, three Gima shirts making their way there and the cross is deflected behind for a corner. They've gone to take that corner, gone short, comes here to the 16, lets the shot go when it's fired wide of the right post. Not bad effort. Eric has it over on the far right, tries to get away from the 16, but it's stopped in his tracks. Comes to the 15, who skipped away from Tolu there, uh, away from Malachi as well, but Reggie does enough and sticks a toe in. Usually, we're one of the main teams that utilizes the long throw. Gima seem to have one themselves, drops to the 15. Eric picks it up on the edge of the box. Junior might be able to get us on a counter attack. He's being charged down by two Gima shirts there, and they've done enough to make him lose the ball. And Joseph draws the foul there. Gima with the 11, gives it away to Reggie. Reggie. Sets his sights on a pass forward in behind for Junior. That's a great ball touch, maybe just a bit too clean. Needed it to get in front of him a bit more. Three's been pulling him back though, and that's definitely a foul. Junior gonna take that free kick, whips it into the front post, and uh, 12 gets a toe to poke it behind, but that could have gone anywhere. Corner from the left, whipped in, uh, bouncing there. Joseph tries the flick, doesn't come off. It's gonna go to the edge of the box there. Malachi challenging with the three, has gone to ground. They want a free kick, nothing given. Junior slips, shot goes off the post, hits off the goalkeeper and maybe Reggie at the end. A goal kick has been given. But that was so close to being one nil in this semi-final to UTR. You can see Junior slipped. Goalkeeper's fortunate and it must have taken a touch off Reggie for them to give a goal kick. UTR long throw taken by Brad. Uh, Gima gets to the ball first, not with one, but two headers, three headers. Make that four. Going up in numbers as the seven gets that out of play. Drops here to Dom, who used to play for UTR, if you remember him. Nice touch. UTR have it on the right-hand side. Comes here to Sam, thinking about a shot maybe. Sam lets it go down to the goalkeeper's left. He's made the save and it goes behind for a corner. Not a bad effort from Sam. We know he can hit those. Sam on the corner then, from this right hand side, Thomas goes for it, not once but twice, it's saved by the keeper, Reggie swiped it and missed it, 
and it's put out of play by the seven. Man with the orange boots coming down this left hand side. He's got Marcel chasing him, whips a ball across the box. It's not a terrible ball, no one home. It goes out for a goal kick. So with uh, Tolu at the back, plays it to Eric, gonna give it back. Tolu goes to clear it and he's been caught late by the skipper. It's not his first defense so far this game. You can see the UTR players letting the ref know that. And uh, to be honest, yeah, it doesn't look like he's gone for the ball there at all. And he's gonna earn himself the first yellow card of the game. Play goes on. Uh, no one really had a clear cut chance just yet. The number nine wriggles away from Tolu. And um, the ref's given the free kick. Eric's just rolled the ball away there, flicked it away and the referee's gonna call him over. Looks like he's going to his pocket as well. And he's gonna make an example of Eric here, kicking the ball away. He's gonna get himself a yellow card and earn himself uh, into the referee's books. Yeah, he just flicked it away there. You see it done all the time, but it's rare that you see refs make an example of it. It's a yellow card for Eric. Play moves on, Gima corner, taken by the nine, into the 11, it's headed down, but George has made a very good save. It hasn't crossed the line. I thought maybe in real time, it looked like it might have, but if you watch it here, George has made a good save with his legs and gathered it in the end. Nice stuff, George, well done. Brad on the ball for UTR, left footed ping into the space for Thomas there, takes a touch. I'm sure he would, would have wanted that to go a bit better. The 16 cuts it out and I think he might have hurt himself in the process. UTR corner, JR right footed from the left, punched away by the keeper, comes down to Sam. It's a reactionary shot and it goes out for a goal kick. It's um, Eric trying to race to the ball and get their first junior, takes over three, not his first foul this game. Tolu on it at the back, uh, pressed by the 15. Outside of the boot, lovely pass here to Sam. Sam has Thomas and Junior in the box. Sam cuts the defender inside out, tries to get to Thomas, it's deflected and swiped clear. Over half an hour has been played, it's Junior on the left, plays it to Joseph. Joseph wriggles away from the seven there. Can he find way for a shot? Comes here to Malachi, tries to dink it to Thomas. It does find Thomas. Thomas tries to get to Sam, nine slipped and they clear it. Ball's on the near side, headed by the 11, only as far as Joseph. Nice little play between Joseph and Eric. This is good feet. Lovely play from UTR down this left into Thomas on the swivel. Plays it to Junior. Can we get a good delivery? It's across the box. Nobody home. Still, no one's landed a clean shot. Uh, still in a clinch at the moment. It's at seven up against Brad and Eric on this near side. Gets a ball into the box, but straight into the keeper's hands. Back in the UTR box, Eric first on the scene, sends the seven to Greggs for a steak bake. Plays it to Joseph, receives it well. Assessing his options, he's confused as to why everyone seems to have run away from him. He leaves it to Eric though. He's gonna have to drive the ball up the pitch. Uh, tries to play a ball into the channels. Keeper's gonna be there first. Miscommunication between us there. It's a long ball up the pitch. Sam's gonna chase. Gima get there first. Sam going in there on the goalkeeper. He's dropped it for a moment. Referee's blowing his whistle. Gonna give the free kick. Uh, Thomas gets in the way of the ball, they've called for it. He's seen Eric kind of get done uh, for a little silly decision and he's going to go into that same book. Two yellow cards for UTR now. Joseph picks it up, not far from the Gima box. Uh, plays it there, it's hit off the hand of the two. Play goes on, it's Sam down this right hand side. Whips a great ball across the box, nobody home. Eric with the ball. Uh, knocks it around the corner to Reggie. Reggie into Joseph. Joseph gets away from the challenge of the 16. Nutmeg on the seven, uh, still going. Sees a ball down this left for Junior to chase. Three, who's been very close to Junior this whole game. A bit far away from him one time, gives him an opportunity to cross maybe on the left foot. And I think that's gone out of play and come back in. Ball's bounced into the 16. Eric uh, hot on his heels there. Eric tries to make a challenge. Referee gives the free kick. Eric's not happy with the decision. Uh, but he's in the way of the ball there. And, ah, he could be in trouble. Eric could be in trouble. I heard the shout of Tolu saying Eric, because I think he knew what could have happened there. Eric arguing the decision. And uh, instinctively, sometimes you think to block. You don't want them to take a quick free kick, but I think he's forgotten he's, he's on a yellow card there. Tolu trying to explain to the referee it's at his discretion what he does next. But if he goes for the second yellow, Eric's off and UTR will be down to 10 men, which is exactly what he's done. Applause from the Gima sidelines. 
Eric unhappy with the decision, but he's just got to get off the pitch now. He's got to get off the pitch. It's two silly decisions. And uh, it looks like this could cost UTR in such a big game. We are down to 10 men now. We just need to see it out till half time. Tolu's tripped on the back of the 15 there. He was lively at the start. Seems to have gone a bit quiet, but he's done a big step over there. Tries to go to the byline and cross, but it's gone out of play. Well done, defence. So that is half time. It's nil nil, no goal scored. However, we are now down to 10 men. Some of our players still trying to explain to the officials, but as many of you who play Sundays will know, they're not going to want to hear it. It's done. The decision's been made. And we are down to 10 men. We've just got to do the best of what we can to try and stay in the game and win this game. First things first, calm yourselves down. Please, calm yourselves down. One, we know the rest been flipping and shocking. The rest played into whatever they've said and whatever. But if we now keep reacting, keep acting like idiots, we're going to play like idiots. And I can't lie to you, for 25, 30 minutes, we played like idiots. We played into their game. Going long every three seconds. Once we have got the ball down and played, what's happened? Into their final third. Able to create chances. But we're panicking. All around the pitch, we're panicking. It's nil-nil. We're not chasing the game. But we're acting like we're chasing the game. We're, we're, we're done to men now. It happens, we move. But it doesn't still mean we can't control the game when we, when we have the ball at our feet. Every time we've got the ball in the final third, I can't lie, we look dangerous. We look very dangerous. Decision making today has been actually good. But I need shots. How many times does keep it today? Once. That's what I need now. Okay? Calm heads. A calm approach in the second half. And we roll this team over in transition. Because that's what it's going to be. Understand? <coughs> Alright, let's go. Let's get out. Into the second half. Uh, Gima get us underway. Uh, we have to stay focused. We're down to 10. We've got to make sure that we don't leave any unnecessary gaps. Yeah, definitely can't afford to make any more silly decisions. Bradley uh, taking it down the left, uh, onto his left foot, cross into the box. It's a good cross. Junior's there. He's jumped too early. Did he have to jump? Did he know how much time he had? It's a good opportunity. That would have been a good way to start the half. 16 with a ping uh, looking for a game ahead in the box. Keeper's come a long way there. Uh, Bradley's gone to clear it. It's dropped only as far as the 15. Takes it on his left. Good save from George. Drops that back to the nine. And unfortunately, the defenders on the line couldn't prevent it from going in. It's unfortunate. It's a mistake at the back, ultimately. Brad will know himself that he can do better. He's a very experienced player. And uh, yes, yeah, a catalogue of mistakes. Personally, for me, I'm not a goalkeeper, but I think maybe George has come out too far there initially. Brad has rushed his clearance there. He's given it back to them in a dangerous position. It's cut into his left foot from the 15. Good save from George. Drops there, and I think... Tolu's unfortunate because if you watch on the replay, his leg gets stuck in the six yard box, gets stuck in the ground, and therefore he's unable to keep that from going in. But 1 0, and it's not looking good. Yeah. 1 0 to Gima. That's exactly what they would have wanted, especially with us going down to 10 men just before. Uh, the end of the first half. What's going on here with the number three? It's unnecessary from him. And that's always going to spark something from both sides. Oh, Junior's been a bit naughty there. He's nudged the head forward to the number three. And if the officials have seen that, he could be off. I understand this frustration has happened to me before and I did the exact same thing. Only I did get a, a red card straight away. It wasn't even any... Uh, beating around the bush from the officials but if they've seen that then Junior will most likely will be off and will be down to nine men which is not what we want he's won the ball he's been kicked by the three he's been kicked by the three all game to be fair he's reacted Joseph's come across to back him up and there you'll see it that nudge forward oh he could be in real real trouble here this semi-final is not looking good for UTR oh my what is gonna happen here the referee is going to book the goalkeeper. I'm not entirely sure what he did. I'll have to see that again. The number three was uh, the clear offender initially, but is Junior going to get a card here? I think the, the three is saying you've seen him and the cameras would have caught it. But I think Junior is going to get away with it. And if so, we're very lucky. UTR have a corner. Junior taking it. Comment down below. Do you think he should be on the pitch? Yes or no? Tolu's header goes over the bar. 
Ball's bouncing here to Joseph. Let's it run across his body. Gets away from the Gima player there, the 11, but he's pulled him back, and that's going to be an easy decision. He's seen that one. That is going to be a yellow card for the 11. From that free kick, JR with the ball to the back post. Reggie nods it back across. Joseph has slipped. Comes here to Junior, left footed. Wide of the target. Headed down the line. Uh, Marcel's missed the ball there. Drops to Jake, the 15. Uh, cuts inside, gets a bit of luck against Tolu. Uh, still going Jake into the box. Pass Reggie through it on goal. Jake now, and that is an incredible block from the vice captain, Brad. Great footwork again. Been causing problems whenever he's gotten on the ball. Been direct. But what a challenge that was from Brad. Gima corner. Nine taking it. Left footed. Out swinging. Seven. Flicks it with the outside of his boot. But way behind. Here we have some substitutions. Uh, Fred making his way on in place of Sam. Eman on for Malachi. So with the number eight. Plays it back here to the three. Three's been caught on the ball. Needs to be careful. He's on a yellow. Junior to Thomas. Thomas back to Junior. Junior with the shot. Deflected. Goes through. Past the goalkeeper. I thought he saved it initially, but it's made its way into the back of the net. And many would argue, and probably rightly so, he shouldn't be on the pitch. He's lucky to be on the pitch. We've got to count our blessings on this. We're down to 10 men. We needed this. It's deflected. Keeper tried to do his job, and I think the deflection put him off. It's 1-1. If you're Gima, how's your luck? Long throw into the box, headed away by Brad. Uh, drops here to the eight, his shot's blocked by Tolu. Uh, comes here to the seven, dinks it to the back post, and it goes out and behind for a goal kick. The ball here cut out by Fred. Uh, comes to Tolu, takes a touch and switches the play. That's a beautiful ball. Junior brings it down. Can he get into the box? It's uh, gonna go behind. Nine with it, uh, with the orange slash red boots. I think it's orange, switches the play deep. Uh, seven wins the ball there. 15 tries to get a toe to it. 17 takes over. His shot's blocked by Reggie. I don't think he knew too much about it. Joseph on the ball. We've just got to clear this now. Can he do so? Yes, he can. More changes. It's going to be uh, Junior off now for Eri. Benny's also going to make his way into that striker spot in place of Thomas. Did well to uh, help us get that goal, that equaliser. Can Benny do a bit more for us? Less than 15 minutes to be played. Eman picks up the ball, goes over the halfway line. 16 has got him in a... Yeah, he's, he's ready to suplex him there. And uh, yeah, he knows that's going to be a yellow all day long. But he knew that when he was doing that and he was ready to take it. Yellow card for him. Brad picks up the ball on the right now, uh, up against the number nine. Ready to race him, tips it away, gets the cross off with the right foot. Keeper's caught it. More changes. Marcel going to make his way off the pitch. I was offered the opportunity to go back into right back, but coming back from injury, I was not ready to do that. Junior goes to the left and Brad out to the right. It's just been thrown into play. Five wins the first ball. Drops here to the 17. Good first touch. You know he's got his sights forward to play that ball through. Uh, Junior slipped. 15's one on one now. Takes it around the goalkeeper. He's gone to ground and uh, it's not looking good. That must be a pen. They're waiting for the decision there. I don't think he's given it. I don't think the linesman's given it. Junior slipped in a crucial position. He's one on one. He's gone to jink it past the goalkeeper. Keeper's gone down to his left. Has he jumped into the keeper? Has the keeper stood his ground? What's happened? Let me know your comments and your thoughts down below. I'll be real with you guys. At first glance, I thought, yeah, that's it. That's a penalty. It's Eri. Uh, back to Junior. Loose touch. Gets there first ahead of the number eight. Uh, comes here to Joseph. Goes to curl one. Deflected and behind for a corner. Junior with the corner. Nothing doing really with it. Tolu's going to get there first. Surely going to keep this in play. Nine chasing him. Uh, back here to Eri. Takes a touch. Whips one towards the box. Joseph's there. Over the goal. 17 with it. Back to the 16. 16 goes to get away from Joseph. Just pushed into him to be honest. He's rolled like he's in a carpet or something. And uh, yeah, that's a free kick all day. Not long left in the game. Fred tips it away from the 16. It goes out for a throw, but the referee's blown his whistle. We are heading to extra time. Into the first half of extra time. It's a long throw to begin. That doesn't stay in play. That's going to give Gima the opportunity maybe to have a quick counter, which they're going to go for. 
It's a ball there. Missed by Junior. Number nine. They've got players through and on goal here. If he can get the pass right, plays it across. And I think they're all offside, to be fair. Bradley comes back and recovers anyway. But the linesman's flagged for offside. We are looking a bit vulnerable on the counter. I think the 10 men starting to really show. It's a missed uh, clearance there from Reggie. Good George off his line. Nice and early to help us out. Eman nods this out here. Eri's going to challenge. Four can't keep it in. Eri picks up the ball midway through the UTR half. We're also halfway through the first half of extra time. Eri gets away from not one but two Gima shirts and he's driving towards the box. Got Benny to his right. Uh, Benny can't quite control it and Gima will get possession back. Opportunity to redeem himself on the right hand side. Isolated, just surrounded by Gima shirts. I can count six, I think. Uh, it's Benny up against the nine, gets away from him. Play continues. Benny rolls it back here to Joseph. He's let the bobble beat him and he's put it over the bar. You can see everyone's getting leggy now. It's played from the 17 to the nine. Nine goes for goal. Surely he's got just put that across the box. Over in that far corner. 15 trying to show the quick footwork again. Uh, Shimmy's to his right. Thought about the shot maybe. He goes for it. It's blocked by Tolu. Comes out only as far as the number nine. Unopposed until Fred puts a little pressure. 17 slips. Able to get back to the nine. Uh, nine space to shoot once more. Tolu's in the way yet again. It's uh, Joseph who's picked up the ball. He's got Eri to his left. If you can see him plays it to Benny. Yet again, Benny hasn't got too much support. Joseph making an overlapping run. Can we do something on this counter? Uh, Benny's done well to hold it up and still keep possession. Made his way through just about. Onto E-Man. We've got space here with Eri now. Can we make something count? Eri quickly put under pressure by the four. Skips away from him. Thinks about lining it up. Goes, fakes past the 14. He does shoot. Comes back here to E-Man. Can we get a shot off? It's Benny just inside the box. Tries to scoop it through. And they've snuffed it out. Back here to the number eight. Under pressure from Eri. Everyone's slipping today. It's into the 15. 15 takes it on the turn. Tolu does enough to get some contact on him. Needs to be careful though not to commit a foul. Played back to the number nine. He whips a ball into the box. Reggie heads it away. Nine brings it down once more. Able to wriggle away from Tolu. Let's a shot go. George is able to deal with it. Half time in extra time. What will the second half bring? Penalties? Well, uh, we'd hope not. But if so, yours truly... I could be on the pitch and maybe taking a pen. 14. Swipes a little ball through. Looks like a nothing pass, really, but it might be something there. Junior ushers it through to George. <sighs> Almost 20 minutes gone out of the 30. Uh, Jake on the ball, away from Eman. Comes here to the number 10. He's got the nine in space. Number 10 thinks about the shot. Didn't think about the bobble. 17. Whips the ball across. Uh, 14 stabs it into the 10. 10 gets there. He's going through, but Reggie's done well. Right now, we need to ride the wave and look for an opportunity to pounce, maybe counter-attack. Joseph's done just that, and uh, he skipped away from the 14 and the 4. Gone off the pitch, come back into play. Joseph driving uh, towards the Gima box. He's got Benny and Eri with him. Joseph, is he going to go all the way? Oh, my gosh. Absolutely incredible. What an individual effort from Joseph and UTR with the 10 men have absolutely done the unthinkable what a, he's literally recreated the Gareth Bale goal against Barcelona I think it was against Bartra off the top of my head but what an individual effort and he's just snuck it in at the near post 2-1 UTR let's take a look at this What an absolutely crazy goal. And I'm going to get a little cameo here as well. Joseph's legs have gone after that goal. So last resort, I have to try and help the team see this game out. Gima going to throw everything at us. Nine with the ball to the back post. Headed up in the air and over the net. Goal kick. So headed by the seven, then by Tolu. Uh, I've tried to flick that away there. Drops to the 12. I've caught myself in a 50-50 shock. Uh, comes here to the seven, knocks it out wide to the nine. Uh, plenty of space to deliver a ball into the box. Whips it again. He's got a good delivery on him. Going to make its way all the way through. Comes out here to Junior. Knocks it down the line for Fred. He's got the 14 and seven chase in there. They've got enough toe to the ball. It's a bit messy at the moment. Can Fred keep it alive for us? We could have had a counter there. But goes to their keeper. 
coming back, throwing everything at us. You can see we're all camped in the box. It's the fours delivery straight into George. Surely any moment now, it's a big long kick there from George. Into the game of half, Eri's gonna chase it. Nine's taking a touch, maybe he shouldn't have done that. Keepers alert. So with the seven, back to the 15, first time delivery. In there, George gets a hand to it, puts it behind, it's hit Junior's hand. They're calling for a handball and a penalty. But I'm pretty sure Junior was off the pitch. I think you guys will be able to see it as well. He's tried to avoid it, but by the time it has hit his hand, I think he's already off the pitch. We'll see it once more. First time delivery. George does well to get to it. And yeah, I, that, he's off the pitch. He's behind the goal, you can see it. They're not going to agree with that though. I think they've been hard done by at times today. I don't know what was said between those two, but it's definitely off the pitch. They've got a corner anyway. Nine to the back post, and I think it might have gone out, then come back in. Goal kick. It sent the goalkeeper forward and everything. Uh, nothing happened with that corner. Here's Jake again, causing more issues. Uh, I've gone in there and I, I thought I just stood my ground, but I've committed the foul. It's not a good position to do such. From the free kick, they've gone short to the number nine. Steadies himself, puts a ball into the box. Benny's first to it, uh, drops out to the number 16. He takes a touch, tries to fake, and he's made a mistake. It's now Eman, he's got Fred to his left, only the number four, and now the nine chasing back. Fred takes a touch, it's a heavy one. Can he keep it in play? He's got Eman and myself in the middle. It's gone out, the referee blows his whistle though, and that is the game. 2-1 UTR despite having the 10 men. I have to say I'm gonna be totally honest. Moments change games and I think, even though even if they did score from that penalty, I think they should have gotten that pen. And who knows, our heads could have dropped, anything could have happened. But we've escaped today and we make it into the Kent Cup final in which we'll be playing the team that's already beaten us twice before, Market Hotel. So it's gonna be a big one. Make sure you guys don't miss it. If you wanna come and watch it in person, you can do that. I'm pretty sure the info will be on the UTR pages soon. So yeah, we're into a final. It's not been our greatest season, but we have an opportunity to make something out of this. Kent Cup final, here we come. But yeah, guys, that is it for this week's Sunday League. I have to say big credit to Gima. I, like I said, I feel like they were hard done by in areas of the game. Some might say we were hard done by with the first Eric decision, but you know, it is what it is. It's done now. And uh, yeah, wish them all the best for the rest of the season. If you have enjoyed the content, make sure to hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new and make sure to check out all the UTR socials as well. Until next time, though, we'll catch you soon. Peace.